We've suffered as humans, being stripped from contact and the things we need and love. But we fail to recognise that the environment, our air, our water, our biodiversity, has been suffering this whole time. But while we sat at home, working from home, the environment was blooming. The canals in Venice, clear. Dolphins, also seen in Italy. Residents in India could finally see the Himalayas. We all know the need in the world for positive environmental change, but we always perceive it as something bigger than us, something that you and me can't do. But the fact is, the change that we need is right in front of us. But since the lockdown has lifted, we've gone back to square one. Being back at work, we've undone all the amazing impacts we've had on the environment. We've been too focused on how to rebuild our community, our people, ourselves, while neglecting what our community actually lives on and what will be left of it for the next community. The initiative of the Four Day Foundation is to continue this trend of making a positive environmental impact as a part of the rebuilding of our community by integrating some of the positive things of the lockdown into our normal lives. But what does it actually do? The Four Day Foundation creates awareness and visits companies so to encourage them to opt in into implementing a four day working week in the office. That means whether it be everyone has Friday to work from home or each person has their designated day, at least one day a week, employees can work from home in their home offices that we've already created back in March. And we know this has the ability to work. We've done it for months. And like I said, we all set up our little working environment so that we know they can operate smoothly. And we know that when everyone was inside, our environment benefited immensely. We know that for some companies and businesses, working from home is not an option, hence the reason why it's opt-in. But during the COVID-19 lockdown, not everyone worked from home, but there were still results. For you and me, the employees at home, that means more time in our house. That means working from the comfort of our office or even your bed. More time with family. You'll be able to drop the kids off at school one of the days. And with that, less childcare bills. If you have Friday at home, maybe you can look after the youngest. But also less money on transport, whether it be petrol, tolls or buses. And in general, overall satisfaction of your job and life. A lot of people see the workplace in a negative light, and it'd be good to have a break once a week. For the big companies, their main benefits fall into the ideas of profit, reputation and productivity. With less people in the office, it may mean firms are able to downsize, reducing their rent. But if not, they will still be saving money on utility expenses. For productivity, staff who are happier by being in their home environment are generally more productive. And finally, for reputation, the Four Day Foundation is dedicated to giving companies who opt in advertising through a published list of all partners. The names will be shown in partnership with the Four Day Foundation, showing citizens that they are making positive changes to help the environment. This is a key role of the Four Day Foundation. But back to our issue of the environment. Our community will be rebuilt with businesses who have reduced footprints from less electricity and emissions. The roads will be less congested with less cars adding their petrol fumes to our air. And we can do this without having to drastically change the way we live. We will be happier, creating a more positive society with parents who have more time with their family and less time on the roads home from work. The chance has finally come our way to make an impact on our environment that will allow it to last for our future generations. The Four Day Foundation is the perfect opportunity for big companies and everyday people to do their small part. Because if we don't, when we rebuild our community after the pandemic, we won't be rebuilding the environment, we'll be destroying it.